In this video, there are six practice problems for converting from moles to grams and grams to moles. The way to use the video, do one of the practice problems, and then go to that place in the video and check your work. We'll solve each problem in two different but complementary ways. And after completing the practice problems, you'll be a pro at converting from grams to moles and moles to grams. For this problem, let's first use the mole map here to help visualize how we can solve it. We're given grams of H2O and we want to get to moles. So we're looking for moles of H2O. Grams to moles will just divide by the molar mass. We find the molar mass by going to the periodic table and adding the molar mass up for each element here. We have two hydrogens and one oxygen. When we do that, the molar mass for water, that's 18.02 units or grams per mole. So already we can see that one mole is 18, about 18 grams. So if we had 43 grams, that would have to be two, between two and three moles. Let's say 2.5 moles. So a good first step here is to estimate what your final answer might look like. Then we'll just take our grams and divide by the molar mass, and that'll give us moles of water. Let's do that. We have 43.25 grams of water, and we're going to divide by the molar mass, which is 18.02 grams per mole. When we divide the top by the bottom, we end up with 2.40 grams cancel out. We're left with moles of H2O, which was what we're looking for. And 2.40, that's pretty close to our estimate. So we can be pretty comfortable with the solution. The other way to solve the problem, this is the one probably preferred by teachers using conversion factors. This right here, our molar mass, that's our conversion factor. So let's set it up. We'll write down what we're given, which is 43.25 grams. And then we multiply by a conversion factor. This is our conversion factor. But the question is what units go on the top and what units go on the bottom. And the way to think about this is we want to get to moles. This is the desired quantity. This is the given. So we'll put desired, that's the moles of H2O, over the given, which are grams. You can kind of think of it like this, desired over given. So we go to our conversion factor and we see one mole is 18.02 grams. We multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and we get the same answer, 2.40 moles, and that's the H2O. We can see that when we do that, the grams, they cancel out and we're left with moles of H2O. It's very similar to what we did before, but teachers really like to see it done this way. One last thing, you'll often see that this line here, it's stretched all the way across and then a line will be put right here in place of the multiplication symbol. What's nice is either method can be used for moles to liters and liters to moles, or moles to molecules and atoms, or molecules and atoms to moles. In this problem, I have 4.47 moles of CO2, and I'm trying to find the mass, and the mass is in grams. So I'm going from moles to grams. I multiply by the molar mass, and the molar mass for CO2 is 44.01 grams per mole. So I can see that if one mole is 44 grams, four moles is like four times that. So somewhere around 200 grams would be a good estimate. So let's set it up and give it a try. Then I do the math. We can see that the moles canceled out, so we should get grams. And 196.72 is pretty close to our estimate, so we should be comfortable with this answer. We can also set it up using the molar mass as a conversion factor. I'm looking for grams, so that's the desired quantity. Grams goes on top. I'm given moles of CO2. And one mole of CO2 is 44.01 grams. Multiply the top, divide by the bottom. I get the same answer. Moles, they cancel out. I'm left with grams. And you could also look at it like this. Either way, same answer. This one follows the same pattern, but it's worded just a little bit differently. We're asking how many moles. So we're looking for moles and we're given grams. So we want to find moles. That's what we're looking for. And we're given these grams here. 
So the word molecules, well, it's correct to write it this way. Don't be distracted by it. We're going from grams and we're trying to find moles. So grams to moles, we're going to divide by the molar mass. We write our grams and the molar mass for H2SO4, sulfuric acid, is 98.01 grams per mole. So we have about 100 grams in one mole for H2SO4. We're only given 12 grams. So 12 is probably like a tenth, so say 0.1 something moles. That would be a reasonable estimate for what our answer should look like. We divide by the molar mass. We end up with grams cancel out, so we know moles are correct. And 0.13 moles, pretty close to our estimate. Let's set it up using the conversion factor. Note that the grams cancels out, so we know moles. That's what we're looking for. That's what we got. In this practice problem, we are looking for grams, and we have moles. So we're going from moles to find what we don't know, the grams. So moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. And the molar mass of calcium hydroxide, be careful because we have two hydrogen atoms, two times the one oxygen atoms, and then the one calcium. So when you find the molar mass, you end up with 74.09 grams per mole. That's the molar mass. So one mole is 74 grams. We have about half a mole. So we should have like about 30 grams. So that's our estimate. Our answer should be around there. Let's set it up. So using the mole map here, we can see moles cancel out. We're left with grams. And then if we use the conversion factor, our molar mass is our conversion factor, we can see moles cancel out and we're left with grams. The thing to be careful with this one is make sure you get the right molar mass because we have these parentheses around the OH. This is another one where it's worded a little bit tricky. We know we have grams, that's what we're given, of ammonia, NH3. We want to know how many moles, how many moles of NH3 molecules do we have? They're not asking how many molecules we have in this many grams. They're asking how many moles of NH3 molecules. So we're looking for moles. And we go from grams to moles, divide by the molar mass. Here's how I set it up. And that's it for this one. Same thing as usual here, except for our moles. We're going from moles of CH4 to grams. We've been given this scientific notation here. You could change this to a decimal, move the decimal point one, two, three. So you have point zero, zero, three, seven, two. And that's one way to do it. But either way, we're going from moles, of CH4 to grams. Moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. If I'd been given these moles and asked for liters, I would just multiply by 22.4. If I was going from moles to particles, like molecules or atoms, I would multiply by Avogadro's constant. So you set these things up the same way. For more practice and explanation, visit my website, or you'll find links in the description and at the end of this video to help you. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.